Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created these Alice in Wonderland nails. I'll be using Mia Secrets Cover Almond Acrylic Powder, as well as my Model 1's number 6 Kalinsky brush. And I'm just gonna start by laying the acrylic on all the nails. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you like nail videos. I would really, really appreciate it. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for all the support. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at kaylins.nailartistry. If you want to check me out, I'll link those down below if you're interested. And I'm just going to finish laying our cover. With some clear acrylic powder, I'm going to clear cap all the nails. I got this clear acrylic in a random nail kit. I didn't want it to go to waste, so that's just what we're using today. Clear capping will help to build strength and prevent us from filing into our color. And now on to filing and shaping. Here we are all filed and shaped. I'm going to apply a base coat to all the nails. This will help prep the surface for our nail art. Starting with our pointer finger, I'm going to paint on a white French design. Using a detailed liner brush, I'm creating the smile line. And I'm going to jump around a bit. So on our pinky nail, I'm going to paint it light blue. And I'm going to paint the thumb black. Jumping to our middle nail, I'm getting started with our character painting of Alice. I get started by loosely painting the general shape of the head and from there just getting down some rough outlines. Reference images from the movie show a very flat 2D character. There's really no dimension or shadows to her in the movie. I struggled a little bit with the lack of dimension and shadow. It made me feel a bit unsatisfied with the painting at first. Despite the fact that objectively my reference photo had no dimension, it was very flat. Um, I just still didn't really love how it came out initially, but you'll see that later on and I explain what I did to fix it. Here I'm just slowly working out more of the details, constantly curing as I go and adjusting. I'm also just constantly comparing it against my reference photo and seeing what I need to change. Curing as I go allows me to make these changes and adjustments. As I begin to get down more of the elements, it starts to come together and look more like her. I'm taking a base coat in between layers to smooth everything out and prep for outlining, and now I'm just tediously outlining everything. This part really helps to bring her to life. Also, I wanted to mention I'm using Beetle's nail art brushes. I got them from Amazon. I use these for most of my nail art, and I'll link them down below if you're interested. Adding in some more elements like her dress. And I felt I was about done here, so I just went ahead and filled the background with a glitter polish. Then I went over it with a blue jelly color to give it the look of blue glitter. Um, I didn't have a blue glitter polish, otherwise I would have just used that. Um, and I went ahead and sealed that in for now. But like I said, I'll explain later how I come back and adjust a few more things. Back to our pointer nail with some black, I'm outlining the smile line, and I start painting on a diamond pattern. Once we have that outline down, I'm just filling in every other diamond with black. Onto our ring finger, I'm doing these really simple white roses, um, inspired by the scene where they paint the roses red. These are very easy to do, there's really not much to it. And I'm going to be filling most of the nail with these roses. Once they're all on there, I'm going to paint two of them red, 
I had to do a couple layers to help build up the opacity. And then with a deeper red, I'm defining those petals since those details got a little bit lost. I wanted to do some drips as well, like the red paint. So with some white, I'm first carving out the shape and then I'll be going over those drips with our red colors. Onto our light blue pinky nail, I'm gonna be painting these little white tags, getting down the general shape and then cleaning it up with our background color. I'm outlining them with black now. And then I'm gonna add a little cutout and I do this by doing a black dot and then doing a very small blue dot inside. Now I'm painting on the drink me and eat me notes from the movie. I couldn't fit the whole word on there, but I think you get the idea. <laughs> And now onto our thumb. I'm gonna be writing the we're all mad here in the same sort of whimsical, creepy Alice in Wonderland font. I'm starting at the bottom and making my way up. Because I'm using coffin tips today, my nail shape has a slight taper to it. And when doing lettering, um, for me at least, you kind of need as much space as you can get. <laughs> so that's why I start at the bottom and work my way up. It just helps to preserve as much room as possible for when I get to the top if that makes sense. I'm loosely getting down the lettering in white and then I'm going in with some black to help clean it up. And now I'm taking some blue and silver magnetic polishes and painting around the words, using my magnet tool to create this really cool effect. And we're not done yet. With McCart's rhinestone gel, I'm gonna be using it to secure these gold caviar beads on the pinky nail to sort of give it the effect of a chain or that it's going through the tag, if that makes sense. I love the look of caviar beads but they're such a pain to work with. And on the pointer nail, I wanted to add some cuticle crystals with some caviar beads accenting them. Circling back to the Alice nail, off camera, I took some dimensional shades such as brown for shadow or pink for her blush, and I mixed them with clear to very, very lightly go over certain areas without disrupting what we already have. And I'm going to top coat all the nails now. And here's the final reveal. I really love how they came out. I think the designs look so cool. And I like how Alice came out as well. I guess one thing to take away from this moving forward would be to just add in that dimension when it comes to certain types of characters. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.